hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to get the items from the drop down list in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and please subscribe my youtube channel if you have not subscribed it yet so let's get started in the chrome browser i have accessed the fake name generator.com website right and then this page will open and in this page what i want to do is i want to get all the items which means random male and female right and then i want to select the first one first and then click on generate right and then i will select the male and then click on generate right and then click select the female and click on generate so I do not know the very straightforward way how to get you know all the items of the drop down list in power automate desktop but I have a workaround which I will show you in this video okay so now I will go back to the power automate desktop so because that page is already open so what I will do is I will go to the browser automation and then I will use the launch new chrome because uh, I have access that website in the google chrome right and then i will select this attached to running instance and then i will specify the title of that web page here i have chosen the title right so i took only the part of the title not the full full title of that web page and the browser instance will be stored in the browser too then i will click on save right so now what i will do is i will go to the fake name generator website i will press ctrl shift i to open this developer tool then i will just finish it and then what i am going to do is i will click on this selector i will highlight this field right so here you can see that it has it has a ID which is gen and name it has a, it is as gen right and inside it if you see that you have all the items which means random male and female correct so now what I am going to do is I will take this name okay and then click on console I will type document dot get elements by name then I will specify the name of that selected then I will specify the index so now you see that it is having it has selected that drop down list inside this I will have you know if I access the inner text then you will see that it is able to print random male and female right but what else I can do here is I will choose children so then it will have all the option right because you know that random male and female it is inside the option tag and now if I press enter it will print you know it will show that uh, selectors option 1 which is at 0 index and 1 2 3 and then again if I print dot length so it will show me the length like how many items are there in that drop down right so now I have what I will do is I will store this uh, you know the length the number of items in the drop down into a variable let's say a so now this where a is having that length right now what I will do is I will use a for loop and I can declare for 
where i is equal to 0 i is less than a dot so a is already having that you know the number of items and then i plus plus then i will go to the next line and what i want to do now is i will you know copy this document dot tell the children and then i will specify the i which is having you know the index and then i will say in a text now you see that it is able to print the value right but it has printed only female because this is the last item it has printed so now what i will do is instead of that i will just put console dot log and i'll wrap it inside the function now you see it is able to print random male and female so now i'm able to get all the items present in the drop down so now what i will do is i will declare a variable where text right and then i will execute this piece of code so and here what i will do is i will say where text plus is equal to which means i am trying to concatenate or what else i can do is i can say text dot concat and then i'll wrap it inside a function you know in the brackets and then i will specify the separator i will run it What I will do is I will just specify txt is equal to txt.concat and then then the value of that current item it will be stored in the txt and now if I print txt you will see that it is holding all the values random male and female so now what I will do is I will open a notepad so notepad is open now I will I will press the upper key right to go through the previous uh, script which I have executed in the console right so the first one I can take is the length right I'll copy it and paste in the notepad and then my next line was to you know declare a variable and then the next line is this one I will copy it and paste in the notepad okay so this is the code which can you know give me all the items present inside the drop down i will copy it i will close the console now i will go back to the power automate desktop i will look for javascript and I will choose run JavaScript function on web page. And from here, I will choose browser 2 because this is the browser instance I'm using to attach to that web page. And then I will paste this code which I copied, right? And then what I will do is here, you know, after the loop and curly braces i will type return txt 
because this txt will be holding all the values and whatever the value will be written from this function will be stored in the result variable i will click on save and then i will select the first i will select the first action in the get drop down list items of flow and press alt and i will press alt plus f5 So now bot is running, it will attach to that web page and execute the JavaScript. Right, and now I will go back to the Power Automate desktop. <coughs> and here you can see that in the result, we are having all three values, which is inside that drop down, right? Random male and female. And the separator is comma as we specified in the javascript code i will click on close now what i will do is i will search for split we could have done this inside that javascript code itself but i want to show you this inside the power automate and then from here i will choose a result right because this is the variable which is holding all the items which is present inside the drop down and from the delimiter type i will choose custom and here here i will specify comma right and then after splitting all the values will be stored in the text list you know the result will be stored in the list data type i will click on save I will run the bot again so I will press alt key and plus F5 what is running it has executed the JavaScript code right now I will go back to the power automate desktop And if you look at this text list then you see that all the items are present so at the zero index it is random and at the first index it is male at the second index it is female and the third index is empty right so we have to keep that in mind accordingly we will write the code because we know that this item is empty so when bot is going to you know populate that drop down with these values so we do not want it to populate the the one which is empty right so i will click on close i will now that we know that we have the data is stored in the text list you know list data type i can use the for each loop i will drag and drop the for each I will select text list and the current item will be stored in the current item variable so initially it will be random in the first iteration in the second iteration the value will be male in the third iteration it will be female in and in the fourth iteration the value will be empty so that we have to keep in mind and then I will click on save okay so now what i want to do is i will use the if condition and say that if current item you know the current item which is holding your current item from the list data type is not empty right then i want to go inside this if block and inside this if block what i want to do is I want to set the drop down list value so I will choose the waveform filling and then we have set drop down list value I will choose the browser instance 
right and then I will click on add UI element and here I will choose that drop down I will press control and left mouse click and then I will say select options by name and what is the name it is there in the current item and then I will click on save so now what I will do is I will just run the bot I will press alt and plus F5 bot will attach to that fake name generated website and execute the JavaScript then split the result and then populate the value you can see it is able to populate all the values and if I go back to the power automate desktop now which you will not see any error here okay So now what I want to do is after setting the value in the drop down I want to click on generate so I will use press button on web page then select the browser instance and then click on add UI element I will highlight this I will highlight this button and press control and left mouse click and then I will click on save <coughs> and here I will also specify some wait time because when it will click on generate it will take some time to load the page so I will specify 5 and then I will click on save now it will be able to you know set the value in the drop down list and also it will be able to click on generate and it will wait for 5 seconds so let's press alt plus f5 and then it will attach to the web page it will execute the code now you see it is able to click and then it is waiting a 5 seconds and it will again set the value and click on generate right so the execution is completed and here you can see that there is no error as well which means all the quotes are executed correctly so if anybody knows that how to do it in a very straightforward way from the power automate please comment in the comment section so that I will also know but this is how you know I have done it so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day